Okay, G. Okay, thank you for joining. Let's start this Sunday's yoga session. Okay, mm -hmm. so as we meet every Sunday, another Sunday, another bit of something to do for yourself, yeah? It's not easy, I know. Uh, you are asleep in the tamsic state of our mind always keeps us uh, lazy yeah but to fight within yourself uh, to do certain things and especially something important for your body uh, try and form a habit right on. so sit straight breathe in three times deeply as you exhale say om uh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Okay. All right. Let's get going. First part is physical exercises, asanas. As usual, start with this flexibility exercise called Chakki Asan. So rotate your body clockwise three times and anti clockwise three times. Now, Chimutana, so put your hands, lift up your, above your head, touch your toes. So minimum is three times, yeah, maximum, depending on how much time you have, you can keep doing. So this is just some guide, but just doing this much is actually enough. That's what I've found, that even if you do this minimal three times, the fitness that you start getting, your joints, your muscles, they start over time to help you a lot. So, don't have to do too much. Support your back. Very interesting if you have stiffness in your ankle. Doing it enough. I'm just having a habit of doing this. They seem very simple, and they are actually quite simple exercises. But the impact of it is a repetition of it. If you do it in a, in a continuous manner, now targeted exercises for each of your energy centers. So there are planes of existence. Huh? So within Earth itself, there are seven planes. In our body, there are seven systems called chakras, energy centers. In the atmosphere, beyond these seven levels. So all these things are you need alignment. Okay. So as part of a creation or expression of God's, you know, manifestations. Alignment of your body is very important in terms of your deep aspect of the person that we are, which is electromagnetic frequencies. To function at that level, you really need kind of alignment and removal of, there's lots of resistance within us, which is why uh, we struggle a lot. Yeah, so this is for Muladha Chakra, so the lowest level chakra. Uh, storage basically of entire energy abundance of it, yeah? So, the creative aspect. So, this source of energy is present in everyone. So, every human being has this. Depending on our karmic 
birth, you know, reincarnations, activities of past lives. People are born at different levels of this seven system. The lowest level is is basically fight, fight, flight response only. Okay, so at this level, so by default, if you are at this level and you are not conscious of it, you will just live the life in a manner of just being reactive. Okay, so. To move out of it, there's some physical exercise like asanas like this that we do and then breathing exercises and other things we will do later. So all of these are part of alignments, okay? So doing on the left side, same thing. Being mindful, being repetitive. So you're doing symmetrical manner, both sides. They all slowly over time contribute towards actually helping you not only understand these energy sources but allows you to tap into that because creativity and other manifestations actually are expressed from this center. Second one is called Swadhisthana. So for this we do what's called or butterfly pose like this, holding your toes, ankles together, pushing your knees to the floor as much as you open your groin. This part of us is involved with our addictions of life, yeah? so desires, all different types of desires superficially attached with our senses. The perception of which are very minimal we only perceive 10 percent by default nature and and at that level we think that's all that we are because what we perceive through senses of our taste touch hearing or smell or visualization if you if we don't grow deeper into it the ego part of us restricts us to this 10% which is very minimal and it is at a random level it's very superficial so you can't have a deeper vision of things or a listening capacity or taste even so so sugar salt uh, these kind of things are your addictions at a very simple taste level and we are stuck in it and as we know now these are the causes of you know fat sugar wrong type of fat wrong type of refined sugars and things are the causes of so many diseases in our body okay so this this, this again repetition of it doing it and consciously being mindful about it helps you not only understand the lack of depth of our understanding but then it helps you progress beyond it okay so deeper so 15 20 percent you can get perception of each of our physical senses and beyond later on you'll understand now the next part the third chakra is called solar plexus so okay so so manipur so it's at the level of a belly button so what we're doing is actually trying to press on it okay so you're doing this when you try to touch the floor with your forehead, you are touching on it. Okay, so on the sides, go back. So third, Manipur, is your identification of your life. So a child usually has low bell, has a low beta waves, so usually a delta first two years of life and fontanelle is open. There is a clear communication with or there is alignment in every person when they are a baby. And the brain wave is what actually helps you merge your subconscious into conscious part. So that the what I'm saying the superficial aspect of yourself, which is the conscious living, is not there in a child and up to two years it's actually is communicating with the subconscious which is 90% of our life 
in a continuous manner. You are alive. And that's why that child has that capability. But after two years, the fontanelle closes, the brain waves start activating. It's still very good because it's only into <coughs> like theta. Still very low. The child learns very fast. Okay, in a young, up to seven years, anything, any exposure to anything. The child is learning rapidly. And that is to do with your, our brain waves. From after 7 to 12, it goes into alpha state. Again, the speed is a little bit higher and the difficulties start arising. That in terms of learning and things. And after, say, 14 years, it starts going into beta waves, which is really, really very high amplitude brain waves. And it is more difficult. So, as you grow older in this phase of tea, you know, childhood, teenage, this Manipur part is the self-identification of ego that helps us actually focus and drive whatever we are trying to achieve in life. And it's very helpful because of, oh, of that is what we achieve in life. I guess uh, your degree, your work, or whatever you want to do. The problem is this same thing then becomes an obstruction later in life after 25, 30 years. You don't, if you haven't grown and you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the discipline and desire to actually progress, that it starts holding you back because it gives you this inflated belief uh, because it is what's called illusionary. It's really not your true self because your true self is something beyond it. This is something which has just made you into being able to get some food, shelter, money, etc. And that is very important to live a life. But that's very minimal part of the journey in itself. So it's, now the next one is called Anahat, the heart. It's the heart chakra. Again, so you have to press. Okay, so you use the muscles compressing on the heart your lungs, okay, these areas, visualize it. So this is now beyond third dimension of living and it's a uh, love, a compassion, a sympathy or empathy, bringing your ego beyond. So you have, you have humility, okay, so you have humbleness. That to bring in is very difficult as long as the ego is in charge of you. It doesn't allow you. You might fight a lot of people, fake in charity forms and other things, but it's still, it's an attempt to actually correct yourself. But the deeper aspect of it is to really, really feel from inside. Because the communication of the universe is through love, through giving, through expansion. Not through contraction, not through being selfish, not through being I am the only person, whatever, whatever we feel, because that's third dimension. Okay, so as you keep going up, so the next one is, well, we should be. So this energy system, V means complete, should be means cleanliness. And how you move above or move beyond the ego third dimension to the heart level is by doing exercises at the level of it. We should be chakra. So we do breathing exercises, the pranayama, pran kriya, yeah? So that is why we do it. Because then it actually moves you with the energy that is the source in the your muladhar through the ego beyond with all that ex knowledge and source of energy now without any really what's called domineering feature of ego rather than with love with help of Vishuddhi Chakra then starts you to align yourself okay so actually taking you back in terms of your childhood early childhood life and you know we say you, when a person really wants to live a life you should start becoming a child in yourself and then that, that is the serious meaning of it okay and there is 
as you go up metaphysical part beyond that this opening up your fontanelle and communicating via pituitary and pineal gland with the universe or the source of energy yog part merging with the universal source is the ultimate goal of having complete freedom apart from that having the alignment which will give you health wealth wisdom etc 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 so that's just like a introduction in a short manner of all what this happening through this yogic practice that we do every week okay. now pull yourself up try and lift yourself padmasan okay no good pull lift again back of your hand exercises the shoulder push push part heart up up yeah do it now let's lie down and do asana exercises lie down 45 degrees hold One, two, three, four, five. Touch the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, open your legs and then in and out. Halasan, try and take as far back as possible. Now push your knee towards your nose. Chin side. Both. Lift yourself up. Go side to side, right and left. Right side, left side, right side, and left side. Now, exercise for bum, pelvic region. Push, push. One, two, three, four, five legs towards the front. Five and then chakra. Put your neck and makarasa. Very good for your back. Okay, spasm, sciatica. Very, very helpful. Just do these exercises if you have stiffness of back, etc. Yeah, the variation of those. Same thing. Change side. And lift your toe. Pull and push. Boat, Navasan. Come up, sit on your right ankle. Sitting, push your left ankle over right knee. Push to the bum. Cause it's called like a carpool. One, two, three, four, five. Push your hand. One, two, three, four, five. And then left hand up. From back, right hand holding. One. Five. Touch your knee. Change side. Right ankle over left knee. Twist your body. Move. One, two, three, four, five. Push. One, two, three, four, five. This time right hand above, left from the back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, grounding exercise. If you can walk without shoes uh, and grass, it's very good to help ground. And otherwise, you could do the stepping. So press each of your toes, sole of your feet. There's millions of receptors here, directly you know, linked with you, our sensory motor neurons to the brain, 
activation so this is a habit if you start doing it you increase this communication okay so our links to the environment around us are through these nerves in our body which run from the brain through your spinal cord each of this so the, this power of you focus this energy so the same thing with the hand clapping now you produce this you can feel it okay so you breathe deep <coughs> breathe out and then clap breathe in you produce this energy and if you have aches and pains push them as you with the breath that what we did to the area where you have you know issues with your body you can use this pranic energy through your breath to heal yourself okay there's no side effect to these things just keep trying it you'll see the difference that comes start coming to you so press your radial artery in a circular motion so about 17 seconds and visualize yourself in your being healthy living up to 100 years without any disease or illness okay you visualize in yourself all the diseases will run away from you because you are the source of energy you're the source of the inner pharmacy if you learn to tap into it through these techniques and exercises that we are doing you can keep yourself very healthy right because the more dependent you become on external stuff the you start slowly closing your stem cells your inner pharmacy in your body so the thing that yoga does is actually helps you rejuvenate you go your inner pharmacy which everyone has bo is born with it as i said from the we are the source so muladhar energy center has all these reserves in it we just need to actually tap and drive it above and beyond from lower chakras to above at the level of heart then you are living with all the source that is within you and Every type of manifestation st will start happening. Okay, so now, at a daily level, especially in a modern society, stress is very common because of too many activities. Uh, we are stuck in it. These are simple exercises which actually help you massage. Okay, they 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 get stuck around your head. So if you just your eyes, your chin, the sides of your head, back on the top. Yeah. Large nerves, blood vessels sit here. Tap, tapping on it. Actually, it produces lots of energy. Just try it. If you're lazy, inertia in your body and you're not able to wake up on time and just, just step, you'll see the difference. Make a fist, put under your right armpit, breathe into the right, out to the left. Into the right, out to the left. Into the right, out to the left. Now make a fist, put under left armpit, breathe into the left, out to the right. Into the left, out to the right. One more time, into the left. Out to the right. So this exercise is actually for your acid base, it balance, you know, reflux and gastritis and other things. If you do this in a jerk manner with your thumb hitting this bone, it from him up there. So these are some simple, simple tactics. Without any side effects, without putting chemicals in yourself or anything, but activities of having mindfulness and uh, tapping onto your body getting your subconscious more conscious in yourself is the way to actually tap into the abundance that is within the body your pharmacy 
you source. Okay. Now go face downwards. And let's do. You can either remain in plank or you can do push-ups. So I'll do hundred times and you can follow. Your upper half of your body upward and then lower half downwards. One, two, three, four, five. Rest your neck on your chin. Push your legs towards yourself. Keep doing. Now push yourself up and then look at the right ankle. One, two, three, four, five. Chin side. Stay put, bind your hands and ankles together. Push yourself right to left. Move your body. Yeah. Rotate. Three. Now, lift your legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Let's the floor back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the floor. One more time. One, two, three, four. Hold your ankles, bring to yourself. One, two, three, four, five. With bed, go up as you breathe out. One, two, three. Go side to side. Right, left. Right side, left side. Right side, and left side. Now, Makarasa, right. Hold your and move. Both sides. Push and pull. One more time. And push. Lift yourself up by balancing. One leg. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. Again. One knee. One, two. Change side. Now be on your four. Hands and knees. Breathe out as you go down. Come up, push your tummy in, circle. So move your tummy clockwise, anti clockwise. Move again and change side. More time. Up, down. Child push. Balakasa. Reverse Namaste. So make a Namaste on your back and try and touch the floor. Lift yourself up. Stirasana. Push above. Balance. One, two, five. Sit on your ankle. Try and push yourself back. One, two, three, four, five. And then try and go all the way down. All right. Push, push, push. Come up. Now, sit in this position, Mandukasa. Have your fingers together. Push on your belly button. Go down as you breathe out. <coughs> Increase the pressure. Press again. Inside, left one, breathe in and out, now along your sides at the level of your belly button are kidneys, again visualize the functions, what it does, press on it.
keep sitting in Vajrasana. Open your hands, keep your neck straight. Look at the fingers on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left side, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go diagonally up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go opposite side up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Down on side side. One. 10, horizontal again, right side, 1, 2, 3, four. left side, 1, 2, 3, I hands on your thighs, look far away, then tip of your nose far away, tip of your nose far away, tip of your nose, go clockwise, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, anti clockwise, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. Now your neck. Gently go clockwise. And then anti clockwise. Very gently. Softly. Exercises for your wrist. Pull. Push. Upwards. Downwards. Rotate. Opposite. Hands. Shoulders. Okay. Now balance yourself as much as you can. Okay. Lift. On the sides. On your tummy. Okay. Now lie down. And lift yourself up without help of your hands so if you can do it <coughs> come down and then just go up yeah lift up all right now standing up back sides okay <coughs> breathe in open your arms feel the space air yeah. breathe Feel the lungs filling up completely when you're getting the oxygen. Oxygen is what makes your brain smart. Breathe. Ah. Pull your hand. Opposite. Knees move opposite as we did ankle, we did knees. Now, the pelvic exercises entire <coughs> body from right from the toes to the head within this small time in yoga, we are able to exercise them. And so much is to do with your back, my back bone, your spine, your spinal cord. That's why it's very helpful. Right now, Anjali pose, go down, holding, come up, go crisscross, hold your ear, go down, hold, come up, hold it, Alasana, very good, now balance yourself, focus, then you to focus your mind on one change warrior pose push on the right side one two, three, four. lift yourself up up and balance change side push one two Right, up, lift your right leg, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Now Chandra Namaskar, Chandra, moon, okay. expression, moon, position, when it's new moon, have new ideas, brightness, 
effect of moonlight reflection has vegetables and other things that grow on earth tide effect on your body he expressed gratitude yes by three corners look up what push your head down bend go down lift yourself and sit on your right and come come up do the same for the left side push down bend lift yourself up and on your left hand come up increase stretching stretch <coughs> be conscious mindful okay whatever you do your each of your cells 50 trillion cells in your body are part of a system in which they are individual making organs like liver etc brain but at the same time they are communicate with all of them and there's a master controller the atma in ourselves so everything needs this kind of communication so being mindful is that's why it impacts you at your level of your genes your dna yeah so if you can't do anything just learn how to do surya namaskar it's a huge gratitude exercise chandra namaskar surya namaskar these things learn to be thankful in life and sun position moon they have huge impact on not only earth itself for survival but on our on our body systems yeah so if you learn how to express gratitude gracefulness that's how you actually move from third dimension into heart level gratitude is the is the foundation of love so look at east sunrise it's the 12th position exercise okay so breathe in breathe out push yourself back in out touch your toes push the right leg back plank position this is called your chin is touching your knee and your toes the rest is lifted up bhujangasan parvatasan mountain pose push your right leg up followed by left leg and then pull your left leg in and then come up all the way now do the same from the left side so this is a first cycle from the left side breathe in and now in touch your toes push your left leg this time go down chin knee ankle up lift mountain and then right leg pushing up come up second cycle from the right side breathe in and out one and two third touch the toes push the right leg back astangasana bhujangasana parvatasana right forward by left pull the left leg in come up now from the left side second cycle breathe in and out in and out touch your toes push your left leg back go down chin knee toes lift yourself up and then mountain left followed by right push yourself in all the way now from the right side breathe in and out third cycle in out touch your toes push your legs in plank position chin knee toes lift up bhujang right followed by left push the left leg in all the way now the third cycle from the left side breathe in one two touch your toes three left leg back four plank five asthanasan six bhujang seven parvatas left leg eight all the way up So this is only three cycles of surya namaskar imagine if you do 10 times your heart rate full maximum increase you can get within 10 it's a full body exercise on its own so as i said if you can't do any other 
yogic asanas is to surya namaskar and gradually as you get into the mold of it you will do other ones so maybe a good position to start here yeah? okay right so now coming towards the end few left so you could actually if you want you can do this which is again balancing lifting yourself up on your elbows okay and the last one is headstand if you can do headstand well and good if you can't just do shoulder stand so what we are doing is basically trying to get the blood flow okay easier to your heart and to the brain by lifting yourself up from legs to heart okay so heart to brain the blood flow usually because of the gravity is opposite way so there's a break okay so this form habit very good for your shoulder your neck your head Right. So, not very difficult. It's just a habit of practice. Right. So the last asana is called Shavasana, like a corpse, like a dead person. Now you deserve to actually be having a rest because you did exercise. Actually, within this time, we've done exercise entire body from toes to head. You can't do it any kind of gym so quickly, any other, any place this exercise is so quickly to cover. And it's very gentle as well to yourself. It's not, you know, very difficult. Your body is, as I keep saying, is the best guide to how much weight you need to exercise your body. Your body itself, the weight of your body is your guide. That's how you, you know, <coughs> Gyms are good, all these things are good, any form of exercise is good. Now hands by your side, open your legs a little bit, also hands are separated. We'll do what's called uh, Shavasana. This is Shavasana, very relaxing position. And with that I'll combine it with what's called your Nidra. Nidra means sleep, so by default we need between 6, six and 7 hours sleep which is a passive again, default mechanism of actually repair of your body. Yoga Nidra is an active way. So if you do actively in this manner, you are going directly into your subconscious, which is actually the aim of the life. Because 90% of activities of our body are subconscious. 10% is only conscious. And that 10% conscious part of us actually is the ego self, which keeps us distracted from whatever the truth of your body and life is. So sleep itself in that way by default gives you that break but it's a very poor mechanism of actually having rest repair regeneration in your body. If you did actively which is what we are going to do now which is through yoga nidra you are multiplying because of mindfulness. You are part and part. I know you only sleeping all other activities in the body are going so if you can sleep but be active and involve yourself with your subconscious activities you are expressing your subconscious outwards which is actually then expressing your energy source your pharmacy your food body into into reality of your life so that's why it's very powerful so breathe in deeply through your nostrils Follow the breath as you go down the windpipe into the lungs. There's 800 million, like 800,000 alveolar sacs, which oxygen binds to hemoglobin, carries by red blood cells to blood, and pumps it to 50 trillion cells within microseconds. That's not what you do consciously. But when you do your nidra, we are consciously thinking about it, which is subconscious are being now moved up. It's like an iceberg. If you see, you know, Arctic or Antarctic iceberg sitting, what you see on the tip is only a little bit, 10%, usually of the 90%, the huge amount of ice that sits beneath the water. And that's about, that's how the body is. 
the 90% of stuff is in the, and if you tap into it is where the inner palms is so breathe again follow your breath through your nostrils through your windpipe into the lungs as the oxygen goes to the heart to the brain to the cells now exhale the second pran is called apan push right yourself right to the toes see as you breathe out how when you are returning blood is returning okay from your toes from your head to the lungs to the lungs and you are taking out carbon dioxide and toxic gases of your body again it's a subconscious activity which is taking in oxygen taking in out carbon dioxide but when you become conscious of it the effectiveness of it is much much more higher like anything in in your life if you are actively involved with any activity your production efficiency success is much higher so breathe again the third part through your lungs all the way now put your attention as you breathe out to your belly button now visualize this is called saman pran which is reflection of sun in your body the energy center the heat that is produced and as long as there is heat in your body you are alive yeah as long as there is breath and there is heat you are alive if it's cold there is no breath you are dead so but very little attention is given to breath people just don't think about it but if you did think about it and utilize it your the secrets of your body is actually revealed then so the third pran is the saman which is energy production hydrochloric acid metabolism your glowness of this body the beauty of this face the driver of your blood system in your body breathe again do the same thing now this time push yourself from belly button up right to the chin area the fourth pran is called udan udan is reflective of the fluidity of the body the water content it's like the earth without that 30% ocean is barren nothing will grow the body itself the transducer the electrical impulses that passes through is requires this water water is 70% of this body so it starts with that so you know csf somras you know spinal cord which pushes the brain that's why we do asan so that you can keep removing toxins from your brain cells so you become you are intelligent remain cognitive function remains up to when you are old even so that is the activity that we do to actually help this function so your eyes emotions are expressed through tears your lungs are bound or all covered with water your heart your peritoneal or a tummy and a baby grows in water as well a minute fluid so this fluidity this gives you shital the cohesion your connection to the universe the moisture around atmosphere and beyond this is how the electric impulse which is your thought processes and magnetic part which is your heart they combine for it in a man electromagnetic frequencies to give you the messages of entire universe because we are the part of the entire creation and you are the source if you are go at the level of electro, electro, electromagnetic frequencies not at a physical level okay so as you go deeper into your practices then you start understanding and then this repetition of practices actually brings you in alignment to yourself at the subtle energy level breathe in again deep all of the first second third fourth and the fifth one now is called vya right all the way move up to the top of your head visualize this blood flow to your entire body from every corner of this body without blood it will become dark or gangrene we call it it will die it flows without any effort subconsciously with this called vyan pran which takes it to entire body 205 bones 40000 kilometers of blood vessels in your body the nerves the physical part physiology the chemistry part the uh, subconscious activity which you don't realize are happening 
atomic, subatomic, molecular, the DNA level, all this stuff that we can measure. All these are bound by these five pranas, and then there are five others which are called Nath, Kurma, Karika, Vyoga, Dhanan. They maintain the physiology and other magnetic functions of this body. So breathe again deeply. The second part of the subconscious activity which maintains this body, again we have little control, only 5%, is your digestive process. A component that you are in control is to use your head, your brain, have some knowledge and what you bring and put in your mouth. That is your duty only. And we miserably fail. We have no consciousness about where we are going, what we are buying. We are just following the herds and corporate world into their greed and profit that they are making. You end up in coals and other places without really thinking too much actively. What are we doing? Forget about your climate impact. Forget about 80 billion animals that are being killed to feed humans at the moment. We don't think anything. We come food, heat it in microwave, eat it, or oh, all this fast food, ultra processed foods, refined foods, horrible to your body. So you have to be, as humans, we have to be conscious and actively thinking people. If you are not wanting to raise responsibility, then be like Maya, my dog, or be like a plant. That's where no responsibility or comes, a choice. So that's why they do whatever they do is within the boundaries of what is given to those animals and plants and amphibians and mammals, fish, etc. But us, we have the freedom. And freedom is like two edged sword very dangerous you have to take responsibility you have to have knowledge there is nothing about ideology or belief or faith no so your system you have to know digestion starts in your mouth not in your tongue fruits by season eat whole don't make them into juices and don't make them into uh, smoothies and things it has a bad old reactions you need to eat and whole and the seasoned fruits a digestion you have to chew the saliva comes out there is reactions chemical reactions blood pressure control heart rate lots of functions starts within your mouth so you need to learn how to chew concentrate you're not a bird you're not an animal just gulping no they have that gastrointestinal system which is made for those kind of eating where you have no Awareness. Your chew is very long, it's esophagus. You have to look after it. Soft food, chewed properly, not bone and other stuff that can get stuck in it. Hmm? Stomach, acid production, balance. Two molar hydrochloric acid. Eight meters of small bowel, two meters of large bowel, very big intestine. Suited for food, fruit, vegetable based food. Uh, food. It's too long for other types of meat. They have chemical reaction and uh, they convert into certain compounds and toxins. Say so red meat, refined food. Not only they kill the microbiome, the bacteria which are 38 trillion in our cells, but they cause chemical reaction which affects the surface of the intestine leading to diseases. 70% of the immune system is within your tummy, 50% of your endocrine system. Good feeling hormones, etc. come. Your intestines have twice the number of neurons. So the bigger brain is there. So you have to use this tummy. is a larger brain than your true head brain. The third brain is in the heart. There are 40,000 sensory neurons. So we have to utilize this knowledge. Without knowledge, you have no hope. But with ignorance, it's blissful, they say, but it's stupidity. You are living at a very random basic level with an ego by self and fighting and uh, defending for nothing. Open up. You have to learn. 
we are a species which only progresses by learning. So this is your education and understanding and then responsibility of your impact on methane gas production and climate change and soil destruction and um, deforestation. Vegetable farming requires much, much more smaller spaces compared to cattle farming, say, for example. Lots of other things involved. So, think. That's what I'm trying to say. Breathe again deeply. Now, the fourth type, third type of big functional subconscious activity is excretory function. So, body taking out toxins again is 99% subconsciously done. As we talked about breath, we talked about digestion. Now, excretory function as well, your kidneys visualize. There is no better drink than water in the life still, be it coconut water, be it spring water, water. The enemy of these things are fizzy drinks. They not only kill the microbacteria in your tummy, they produce gas, they have too much sugar. These are the enemies of your body. So water helps filter your blood and helps separate red blood cells in your blood so that more exposure happens for it to carry oxygen. So grounding exercises, water and other things is less red blood cells free in your blood. If you take a drop of blood, look under a microscope, that's my job. You can see what's happening to the blood. You don't want to crowd them up and get stuffed. Then you can't get oxygen in properly in your nutrients in your blood. So visualize. Now next is bring your attention to the tips of your fingers, your wrist, your skullai, your anchor, uh, elbows, your shoulders, your neck, back of your neck, your vertebral column, 33 bones, right behind your bum, behind your knees, behind your ankles, sole of your feet. We talked about grounding, tapping your ankle, your knee, the pran shakti, how you can use the breath, the clapping and rubbing, produce energy and put in the area where you want to heal with pranic shakti into a groin. In the left side it's called ida, right side it's called pingla. Ida is positioning of moon, your uh, ekadasi, the fasting part, impact of your end organs, produce hormones, the pingla impact on your pituitary gland, cicardium, earth orbiting around the sun, has direct impact on you need to wake up early morning so that you're exposed to blue light, produces serotonin, activity of your brain, very powerful metabolites are produced which neutralize oxygen, uh, radicals in our blood to prevent from cancers and other things. So you, you have to, again, knowledge is power. Your pineal gland, the connection, the antenna of you yourself to the external world of the universe where the abundance is, then your true, your parallel life lives. Because if you are able to tap into it, we are not only the body, but we are truly in ourself, our energy self. So the struggle of actually success in life, either in health, wealth, anything, is because we are not able to move into ourself, which is beyond physical, which is only 5% of the activity into the deeper self. So this activity is understanding, utilization of your pineal gland, pituitary gland, circadian rhythms, they start helping you align with yourself in a deeper aspect. Your thyroid, your parathyroid, your bone marrow, madha madha asti, your stem cells, the reserves of yourself, the antibodies, the ninja mutant life, the T cells of this body, you activate that full. So if you become sick, you are healed because the cells in your body are much, much, much more powerful than anything that you can push through your other injections or by sublingual or by eating or drinking. Much, much more powerful. The inner army of this body, immune system. So we have to learn how to tap into these things. And yoga is a practice of Hinduism, which actually has this knowledge of helping you to go into the adrenal gland, fight, 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 as I said, the lowest level of chakra, muladhar, is associated with this fight, fight, flight response. 
yeah, it, it is for survival in a in a danger setting. But if you are living in a danger setting, sixteen hours of your day, you'll destroy your body. This is what's called stress and modern living. So cortisol levels very high. Your blood vessels are thickening. You get heart attack, stroke, imbalance of hormone secretion by adrenal glands, allergy, uh, autoimmune diseases, asthma. All these type of things are happening. So when you do this yogic poses and breathing exercises, you are actually giving rest to the adrenal gland and activating what's called vasovagal tone, vasovagal nerve runs from the brain stem to your tummy. It controls all these subconscious activities that we are talking about. So creativity, rest, regeneration, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your brain function, your glowing beauty of your face, your peristalsis, food movement, your spleen, kidneys, pancreas, Choose secretion. All these activities are by this uh, vagus nerve. It's just subconscious activity rather than the muladhar driven, cortisol driven, adrenal gland driven, fight, fight, flight uh, kind of driven, which is destruction, which is illusionary or maya, which is keeps you envel enveloped and completely stuck into this false reality. We, the 90% is actually is hidden from you. So yoga, with the definition itself, is fusion, mostly from your physical aspect to your subtle, and beyond that into your spirit level or atmic energy self. Okay, so breathe deeply. Now bring your attention to the two eyes that you have. We said the limitation of our vision. We every animal, every plant is there to teach us lessons. There are plants and staying in what type of environment, temperature, cyclones, even the fire comes poor, burn, can't run away. But it still lives by its rule of whatever earth provides as minerals is what it takes and produces for the benefit of the creation. If that particular mineral is not there, it will not produce your fruit even. So the rules are very stringent. So when animals like a bird, you see so far away, it's a tiny, tiny eye. So our eyes, we learn how to actually see far by exercises that we're doing. So hearing, the elephant, or smell, a door, all these things. Are they animals are around to teach us how, how confused we are with our senses even? Taste part. So very superficial taste of sugar and fat and salt and things are very restricted to you rather than having this feel of food, taste beyond that. Okay, so you learn from these things. We are learning beings, human beings. We are beings, not first only human, but we are beings. We only go to the being level or I level, who you are, then you actually tap into the self. But the, if you are this, the half of it are M, M of human level, then you are you are only concentrating on the 5-10% of the conscious self. Subconscious is the dominant part. So slowly you become that true self and watch all what is happening even to your body. Okay, so your two eyes, two ears, two taste buds, and the activities is your productive function, excretory function, your hands, your feet, your talking. These are the antennas, these are the control, these are the perceptive antennas to this body which makes your personality. We make our personality, you're not born with it. It's exposure through your growing up years which becomes a recorded uh, program. Then you are stuck in believing in it which you are not the, not the person when you were a child, little child, baby. So you go return to yourself, true self, with that openness, abundance and empowerment and illumination, then you can actually transcend the restriction of your conscious self. So breathe deeply. Bring your attention to the tailbone. Yeah. Right? So growing level, to the belly button, to the heart level, to the throat level, to the middle of your forehead and right top of your head. So it's like a pyramid. Okay, it's a base, hits the heart. Then opposite pyramid to the head, to your heart. Then the pyramid from your head 
to the universe in it and then there is a pyramid within the end of the entire creation which links to your self in the middle plane so the whole thing like the you know shiv uh, damru you know it's like that 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 pole this is how it connects the pyramid structures of india or south america or egypt there is there is a reason there is a meaning in how we are created and the, in our subtle manner that is what is happening in this body and in the universe of you to communicate with it because you are part of the creation you have a source in you so beyond this ego self that we have you have trans you transcend that that's called transcendence you move beyond it into this energy form of yourself then you can communicate and actually tap into what's called your parallel universe and the abundance of life joy peace happiness everything and anything so the yoga aspect of hinduism takes you beyond very basic foundation level of praying into a uh, self of who you are truly uh, so that you can reach that maximum potential of the human life that everyone is given so breathe deeply breathe out breathe in now visualize the subtle body self watch yourself as you move out to the ceiling and this body is a physical kind of vehicle only it's carrying very important secret within your self as a spirit person a subtle mind level keep moving if you go up to the international space station then you see how the earth itself is spinning it's like tilting about 18000 kilometers per hour <laughs> goes around the sun to 22000 kilometers per hour takes 365 days the positioning of moon the distance the fasting things that we need to do with, uh, on the waxing and waning or waning of the moon the distance from sun to earth and the space in between the planes of existence of the universe itself the movement of other planets like jupiter takes twelve years to make a orbit so mahakumbh mela every 12 years because of the significance of its gravity holdings asteroids and other things to protect the earth that's how our forefathers used to do this kind of rituals and thing of understanding astronomy so this universe within the milky way then moves around 220 kilometers 220000 kilometers per hour takes 250 million years to go around the star within the milky way so we've done about 4.5 billion years 22 cycles and similar is left when it crashes with the andromeda and there's another universe is created with metromeda and there's like 300 billion stars and then there are 300 billion galaxies so the, this creation is like limitless so you visualize this you the source of you who are to merge with the universal consciousness is the is the path to actually getting beyond your ego self your conscious self to subconscious by understanding the creation itself the so makar santi like marsh at the my face of the movement of earth has a lot of positive impact on our body the time dilation understanding that the movement the light self is the power the source is is the is what communicates to us we made time into a linear fashion but it's time is not linear it's there all the time but you have to be at that plane and align yourself to feel and know what was yesterday um, thousands of years be, uh, beyond all thousands of years ahead and you are able to live in the present but at the moment we are wondering only because we stuck with the past and then keep dreaming of the future without really realizing where you are living now because living now or the moment is what actually gives you that freedom to know entirety and go past the linear this you know delineation that we do with time 
12th century, like to death, like planet for four and a half um, light years from here. But one light year is about 10 million kilometers. Understanding these things are the, the way you actually move beyond restriction of your senses. So event horizon is about 25 million years from where time, space, mass, energy, the different forms. This is called, called quantum field. This is what's called black hole. Different light, quasar light, pulsar light. So in yourself, that is what happens if you are into solitude and silence then you develop this deep connection to infinity and infinity is eventually the oneness where everything is a cosmic horizon about 50 million light years from here so Rig Ved Nasadya uh, Sukh describes this what is there beyond who knows and how because even the writer of the Rishis uh, Rishi Muni, they wrote that even we describe these limitations of this. We only know at the moment 3% of the creation. 17% is light, matter, 27% dark. The rest is dark energy. So, what is there beyond? That is the source. So, you yourself are part of that connection. But you have to go through this process of actually aligning yourself. Then you'll understand the quantum field or unified field of that heterogeneity of its expression in different forms, shapes, size, from organic, inorganic living, plants, animals, amphibians, to you as a human who has the freedom uh, or the creativity in mind to connect to all of this is the path of deep spirituality. When you jump through this what's called quantum jumping and tangled them into quantum transportation and feel and have lived in this energy source of who and everyone deserves to because that is what it is actually when we call dharma, karma and more with every wealth, health and everything that is there but you reach the, the deepest aspect of what this potential body and your life can do breathe deeply breathe out Mm. Breathe in, breathe out. So that's a journey within itself. You go through different wavelengths and planes of existence within when you are sleeping, which actually <coughs> heals you up. But as default, you are not even aware of it. But when you do yoga nidra, you are consciously doing. So the magnitude of its effectiveness is far, far greater than just a passive sleep. So doing no yoga nidra is very powerful, that's why. Your amount of sleep that you require becomes very less actually. You are highly efficient in your physiology, metabolic activities and beyond. Energy source that is you, you are actively actually connecting with it. So the uh, aspect of this vehicle subconscious expression into a conscious level is through our when I described we should the chakra stimulation which is um, pran kriya different pranic uh, breathing exercises which is to do with your diaphragm the oxygenation of your body the rest and the repair of your adrenal glands and other activities that are happening in your tummy area as I said tummy is has more brain like cells than the brain itself so it's important to activate it's um as, you know, it's kudos to our um, Rishi Munis, you know, they some they understood because obviously they trans, uh, they transcended through this basic, uh, the physical barrier and obtained knowledge um, to have been written this, Patanjali Yoga, Ved, Vedas, they have all this knowledge. I wonder how, you know, it came, but now I understand because when you transcend your physical limitation, yeah, and beyond your subtle body, mind level, into this energy form, then you are tapping into entire abundance, not only uh, the physical attributes of creation, but other formulas of what you can do to help yourself. That's how they wrote it. So your uh, yeah, Vasist Muni, how he taught Ram or Krishna, uh, the whole Gita. What do they, t do they tell us? 
we are neglecting as even Hindus. We don't go deep into those formulas that are written. So my attempt is to actually make it simple for you all. Okay? So first one is called Bhastika Pranayam. Nostrils are the way to breathe, not your mouth. Always use nostrils. So one thing, learn it. With breath, move your belly button out and in. You breathe in, push your belly button out. Breathe out, push the belly button in. Exhale, empty the lung. Lots of air sits in your lung, which occupies without really getting out of your body. So you are restricted yourself already. If you are not actively breathing, like active sleep to what I said, oh, passive sleep, active breath to passive breath. So you can have a standard life, or you can have a luxury life. You have to make a decision for luxury part, for a higher level of living requires discipline, sacrifice, and, and work. For something simple, nothing, there is no formula to become a criminal or a nasty person in the world. There is nothing required to learn. There is no, but to do good, you need to actually sacrifice. So breathe. Breathing exercise is even harder than physical exercises. So as you go more deeper into achieving more uh, truth and uh, meaning about it, it requires much more hard work. As I say, easy things, no hard work. You just lie down, sleep, watch TV, eat whatever junk. Very easy to do criminality, easy. Only to do a little better, you start, it comes at the level of sacrificing. So breath itself is harder than actually physical exercises. Asans are easier in that way. <coughs> we can't do even asans. How will you do breathing exercises? This is a bhastika. Now we'll do agnisa. So breathe in, breathe out everything and hold the breath. So fasting is very effective for you know, cleansing of your tummy. It's stimulating your immune system and cells. So holding breath is also increases efficiency of oxygenation. Yes, again, sacrifice is the world, is the way of evolution. In, out, push your belly button in and out. In, out, <coughs> in, out, In, out, <coughs> Agnisar, hey, it helps you learn how to hold your breath for long times, longer times at least. Now, next one is called Ujjayi Pranayam. So, use your Vishuddhi Chakra. 
your throat level of breath so you feel the vibrations eh? <coughs> variation of it put your chin on the chest and breathe lift your neck close your right nostril breathe out to the left Breathe in through your tongue, out through your nostrils. In through your lips, out through your nostrils. Abhayantra Bhitti, full breath in, Vai Bhitti, full breath out. Hold the breath for Vai Kumbak. Close your orifices, Mulban, Jalandan Ban, Udan Ban. So you yeah, close it like that and down. Hold the breath as long as you can. When you can't hold anyone anymore, then you breathe in and feel like you're washing your internal side, like the shower outside, physical body. You Nadi show them inside. <sighs> Kapal Bhati, exhalation exercise. So push your belly button in. You time it with your each of your, say, breath as you push out one per second or something. Keep focusing on exhalation rather than inspiration. Yeah. So vacuum is created. Air will come in. Don't push. Don't attention. Put your attention there, but just breathe out <laughs> like that. So you can support yourself by sitting on a chair or anything. But try and keep your back straight and it's a bit like this eh? so do as much as you can as I said the habit of it it requires a lot of involvement of the muscles and with that uh, what I explained the benefits comes from there but persisting for a while um, gets you over the pain part of it <coughs> it's like doing running or walk exercises for physical level similarly for the breathing exercise have to persist for a while to feel the benefits of it.
Although that is very addictive actually once you get into the rhythm you can keep doing it because you get into in touch with the source and in the space and stillness and because it is which is 60 70 thousand thoughts a day which is the exhaustive part of our life and this thing takes it away so if you 
cut over or jump over this barrier of pain once into the rhythm is very very peace pacifying activity okay now breathe in through your left out to the right nostrils alternate nasal breathing or anulom belong so in to the right out to the left in to the left out to the right in to the right out to the left in to the left out to the right in to the right out to the left into the left out to the right out to the left into the left out to the right into the right out to the left so why this activity you are uh, actively you now releasing your beta waves to alpha and then to theta then you can go into even delta so it's a practice because that's what we mean by you become like a child it's a brain waves so hypnotic stage creativity absorption beyond the limitations of boundary is actually <coughs> achieving a level of state of brain waves and so all these activities that we do are bringing us towards that and requires actually some time and practice now at this stage then you are able to actually connect yourself from beyond your physical senses even beyond your mind uh, subtle body but into your spirit self or the atma the causal body karmic aspect so that you can merge with the cosmic vortex of the pure consciousness प्राप्ति के लिए पूर्ण शक्ति से आपके शरण में आए कृपया करके हमारे संपूर्ण दुखों को दूर करके हमें पूर्ण आनंद की प्राप्ति करे आपकी कृपा हमारे कृपा बनी प्रतिहारा में शुद्ध आत्मा में चेतन स्वरूप हूँ मैं पाँच स्थान मात्रा रूप में मुझ पर जन्म दस इंद्राय चित्मकार बुद्धि पाँच महाभूता काठवर्णी जल पृथ्वी हर काल हर समय 
बल्कि मैं शुद्ध आत्मा में चेतन स्वरूप हूँ तो बॉडी फिर चाहिए नहीं माइंड फिर चाहिए मोशन फिर चाहिए थॉट फिर चाहिए नहीं बट आई नेवर चाहिए तो वे माई आम दी द सोर्स आम द प्राणा आम द इटर्नल बी with the five primordial elements the five subtle elements so the ten senses all these components that run in this body and beyond them we chetan swarup shuddha atma chetan swarup atma parmatma keval chetan sab jad hai iske alawa oh interception detachment dissociation dhana dhyan samadhi dharm lakshana avastha concentration contemplation meditation satchit anand the truth consciousness transcendence that blissfulness so you are the pure love i have humility i have compassion i have abundance i have protection i have prosperity kapela swarvya pakshar shakti man swarya antaryam ajanmana tava nirveka nitya purusha srishti karta usi ki sthiti prarthna upasana karni yog me dharmar ka moksha prapti हमारे भी ब्राह्मी क्षत्रिय वैश्य तभी शुद्ध है ब्रह्मचर्य गृहस्थ मानस पर सन्यास की यात्रा नौद्रिक हाँ जल पृथ्वी हर काल चौबीस गुण तैतीस कोटि या पांच या बनाने चलाने वाला ईश्वर आप अनंत काल से अपने उपकार अपनी आशीर्वादों की वर्षा करते प्राणी मात के संपूर्ण कामनाओं को पूर्ण करते हमारे लिए जो कुछ शुभ तथा हित के उसे बिना मांगे हमारी झोली में डालते जाते आपके आचरण में विचल शांति तथा आनंद का वास के चरण चरण की शीतल छाया में परम तृप्ति शाश्वत सुख की उपलब्धि तब अभिरचित पदार्थों की प्राप्ति में सच्ची सिद्धांत विश्वास हम स्तुति प्रार्थना उपासना करें काम को लोभ मोह बदाम सूर्य ईर्षा द्वेष तटी कुटिल भावनाओं को दूर करो हमारी बातचीत का श्लेषमा की बराबर हो क्रिएट अ ऑर्गेनाइज अ प्रोटेक्ट ऑमनी प्रोटेक्टिंग as without asking provide a wisdom of plus peace and contentment love and affection this will of endless peace this is what is we always remember to sit and submit ourselves to the arms of the benevolent god maybe you like that <coughs> lotus flower living in this material world but be detached we move narrow minded selfishness attraction lust anger jealousy hatred violence ill will the activities of our life oh का दूसरा अर्थ सर्वरक्षक आदि दैविक आदि भौतिक आध्यात्मिक पृथ्वी लोक वनस्पति देवलोक स्थूल शरीर सूक्ष्म शरीर कारण शरीर ग्रोस फिजिकल बॉडी एथरल इटर्नल एनर्जी बॉडी और इनटू द ऊर्जल और कार्मिक बॉडी बट मर्जिंग इन टू दी प्यूर कॉन्शियसनेस दी कॉस्मिक बोटेक्स जाके राख साइन मार सके ना कोई बाल लंबा का कर सके जो जग बैरी हो शीप यू दंजा यू द प्रोटेक्ट एट एवरी प्लेन डिस्टेंस सेवन विद इन सेवन विद दिस बॉडी सेवन बियॉन्ड विद इन द एटमोसफियर इज नो रेंडमनेस और एक्सीडेंट एवरीथिंग इज को सिंफनी हार्मनी ही मोस्टेसिस शोमन रेजनेस फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी टू हर्ट मैग्नेटिज्म मेंटल फिजिकल मटीरियल स्पिरिचुअल virtuous qualities like forgiveness simplicity stability fearless humbleness may uh, may we have all good qualities may our body be healthy and strong mind pure and enlightened soul divine and super pure blessings and company all our senses be enlightened may heart of compassion and sympathy words be immovable and thoughtful action may vision of love contact creation may we have complete education and wisdom may our personality be virtuous and great the wisdom of the poorest of the poor may life be devoted and dedicated to Graces through His grace and bless us. Oh, 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 oh. May Satvik, 
गुणों की प्राप्ति हो ईश्वर क्षमा सरलता स्थिरता निर्वेतन कार चिंत सब अच्छे गुण हमारे संपत्ति बने हमारा शरीर स्वस्थ तथा परिपुष्ट मन सुख शक्ति तथा उन्नत तो आत्मा पवित्र तथा तो सुंदर और आपके संस्पर्श वाली सारी शक्तियाँ विकसित हमारे हृदय में दया तथा शांति की वाणी में मिठास में दृष्टि में प्यार में बुद्धि के ज्ञान से परिपूर्ण करें हमारी व्यक्ति महान तथा विशाल दीनार दीनों के मध में चलने वाले ईश्वर आपके चंदान बिंदु में हमारे जीवन अर्पित हुए सेवा में लेकर हमें के लिए तात्वेश्वर का तीसरा शुद्ध मसी बुद्ध मसी मुक्त मसी निरंजनों से आप शुद्ध हो पवित्र हो पीओ परफेक्ट एंड कंप्लीट हमें शुद्ध करो हमें पवित्र हम संकल्प करें साधना पुरुषार्थ करें अभ्यास का विवेक और वैराग्य का डिटेचमेंट डिस्क्रिमिनेटिव पावर इंटेलेक्ट टू डिसाइड बिटवीन राइट एंड रॉन्ग तत्व मसी अहम ब्रह्म जय सचिदानंद संकल्प शिव शक्ति रितम तामसी की नोशिया नेगेटिविटीज सिक्सटी सेवेंटी थाउजेंड थॉट्स अडे राज स्थित सात्विक उसमें भी ईगो आ जाता है तो निष्काम कर्म करें जो क्लेश है जन्मों जन्म के संस्कार वैष्णाए ये जो कंट्रोल करती हैं इसके बियॉन्ड निष्काम कर्म इस स्थित में रहे अविद्यास्मिता राग द्वेष अवनिवेश मृत्यु का भय उल्टा ज्ञान लगाओ बदले की भावना सब समाप्त हो काम को लोम वो मना माया मत से ईर्ष द्वेष टी कुटिल भावना को दूर कर हमारी बात चीत का श्लेषमा की प्राप्ति जागृत स्वप्न शिशुक्ति तुरिया तुरिया तर भार्गव भार्गव चेतना की प्राप्ति शब्द वाणी संकल्प ध्यान ज्ञान अंजल लग्नि आकाश मिति आशा आत्मक महात्मा की प्राप्ति लोकेश तेज तपी तेज तिमारी को फिर मैत्री भाव करुणा मुक्त उपेक्षा की प्राप्ति अन्न में कोष मन में प्राण में कोष विज्ञान आनंद में कोष जो शीत है इसकी ज्ञान हमें में हो अहिंसा सत्य अस्त्य ब्रह्मचर्य अपी ग्रह सौ संतोष तप संसा ईश्वर प्रधान की प्राप्ति यम नियम की प्राप्ति तो प्रतिहारा ध्यान ध्यान समाधि की तो प्राप्ति होती है एकाग्रापन योगचित वृत्ति निरोधा सर्विकल से सर्विचार सर्वी से नर्वी संप्रजा संप्रजा सदगुण से निर्गुण शान सुस्मिता केवल यह ध्यान ध्यान स्वामी धर्म लक्षण वास्तव संयम की प्राप्ति अर्थ सिद्धि अनिमा महिमा गरिमा गरिमा महिमा प्राप्ति तो कम्य विस्तवा विस्तवा प्राण स्वरूप माता दुख हरता सुख प्रदाता जगत के उत्पादक काश मारा फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड हंड्रेड बिलियन मिलियन टू हंड्रेड मिलियन फोर्टी थाउजेंड सेंसरी न्यूराइट प्राणदाता दुख करता सुख के प्रदाता जगत के उत्पादक प्रकाश मात्र पात्र के वन्य शेष रूप का ध्यान करते आप हमारी बुद्धि को उत्तम मार्ग में प्रेरित कीजिए गोद गिव अप लाइफ रिमूव अप स्वर्ग बिस्ट ऑफ अप स्क्रीट एव इन जो आत्मविश्लेषण में स्थित वाले डोर में मेडिटेट ऑन दी थिस इज वन गाइड ऑन ट्रिप टू द लाइट ओम सत्यम ओम जानम ओम अनंतम ओम ब्रह्म ओम आनंद ओम सत्यम ओम जानम ओम अनंत ओम ब्रह्म ओम आनंद ओल प्योर परफेक्ट इन कंप्लीट ज्योतिषा सदा धारे पितृवीं दयाम कृष्ण जीवाया हरिषा विदीन 
आत्मदाबलदायश्चिपास्त पश्यम यश देव यश छायामृत यश मृत कृष्मय देव यहाँ देव भूमि प्राण तो निमिष तो मयि कई कंजी क्या जग तो भावुआ या इस सिद्धुपचस्पुतुष्पदा कृष्मय देव यहाँ दिशा भी देव ओम प्रजाप्ति नुतुदीता नृश्वा जाता परिता भावु यत्कास्ते जहुमस्तन अस्तु वै श्यामुक्तरो रहीनाम ओम सन्नु बंधु जनिता सविदाता धम निवेद भुए नानी विश्व यत्र देवाशिप्रिय धाम धैर्यता ओम अग्नि नये सुपतारा स्मान विश्वा देव वो नानी विद्वान यदस्मजहुरा मे नो भूष्या नमाति विधेयम ओम नमो शंभवाय च नमो भवाय च नमा शंकराय च मस्कराय च नमा शिवाय च शिवताय च ओम शन्नो मित्र शनवरुना शन्नो भरी गो हरिमा शन्नो इंदुरु बृहस्पति शन्नो विष्णु रूपमा नमो ब्रह्मे नमस्तवाय तुम प्रतीक्षम ब्रह्मादि तुम प्रतीक्षम ब्रह्मादि स्वामी रिक्तम बदि स्वामी सत्यम बदि स्वामी तन्म मौतु तत्वाक्तरा मौतु औतु मा मौतु वाक्तरा ओम शनदेवी रविष्टे आपु बोंतु पीते ये शन्नो रवि शर्वंतु ना शांतिर्भूर्ण मंगल स्वस्तिना इंद्रो ब्रह्मदेवा स्वस्तिन पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्तिन शरियो अरिष्टनेस्तिन बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं सहना सहना भुना सा वीर कर बाबी तेजस्वी नवदीतमस्तु मा विदिषा बहि ओं दीना तक्तेना भुजिता यथा पिंडे तथा ब्रह्मांडे तथा ब्रह्मांडे तथा पिंडे ओं कुर्निवाहि कर्मा जिजे विषय ताप सामो तैति ना निति अस्ति न कर्मि पति नवे ओं अस्तुमा सतगमया तम सुमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्युमा अमृत गमया ओं सर्वे भवतु सुखिना सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पशंत मा कशित दुखभा भवत ओं पूर्णमदा पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पुनः पूर्णमाधा वशिष्य ओं शांति अंतरिक्ष गुण शांति कृतभि शांतिरापा शांति रोषध शांति बनस्पति शांति विश्वदेवा शांति ब्रह्म शांति शव गुण शांति शांति रेव शांति शम शांति रेवि ओं शांति 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 ओ शांति 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 भैया महात्मा की कृपा बना रहे ओके सो विल सी नेक्स्ट वीक अगेन की प्रैक्टिसिंग गिव वन आवर्स टू आवर्स अ वीक दैट्स इनफ लिव द लाइफ लव लाइफ लिव द गोल्डन लाइट दैट्स द सीक्रेट